After the huge success of season 1 of One Piece live action, they have finally announced that they're gonna be a season 2 of One Piece live action on Netflix. Netflix announces they have been planning to go all in. All in? AW? And make as much seasons as they can. So, is it true or not? That's what we're gonna discuss in this video, so come on, let's get started. Let's go. First of all, is it true that they're planning to go for 12 seasons for the live action of One Piece? Alright. No. Okay. I mean, yes, they wanted to go all in and make as much seasons as possible, let's say 12 seasons. But I mean, if we're being honest, it's not possible, okay? It's just not possible. I mean, the way to go for now is 6 seasons. And this is still huge! I mean, six seasons for One Piece live action is gonna be huge since the fact that they've announced with the announcement of season two of the live action of One Piece, they've announced, or, or since they announced, he drew Chopper. And yes, Chopper is gonna be there on season two. So that means, I mean, Chopper means the Grand Line. Alright, so um, probably around uh, episode 80 or 90 in One Piece. Yes, they, have, they haven't announced Nick Robin, so of course, no Arabasta in my opinion. But, it is still big that they're going to the Grand Line in Season 2. But the fact that they're planning to go for 6 seasons is reasonable in my opinion. Because why? I mean, 12 seasons with Inyaki Godoy, uh, Taz, the other crew members, the other cast of uh, the Straw Hats, the, the actors of the Straw Hats. For 12 seasons and let's say each season takes probably year and a half of production uh, shooting everything and then releasing it and then I mean let's let's just talk about season one okay I mean yeah or since has been planning for this for like I don't know six years or something but this is exceptional because it was planning for the series itself not for season one okay so if we're gonna talk about season one itself it was somehow around the beginning of 2022, probably, okay? I think it's the beginning of 2022, late 2021, because, I mean, of COVID-19, so they weren't able to do it, okay? So, from 2022 till 2023 August, that's year and eight months of doing everything until releasing season one of the live action. And now, since they've announced season two, I think... Season 2 is gonna be the perfect example of how long do they take to make a whole season, okay? So, if, if they're still gonna be taking like a year and a half, it's, it will be impossible to go for 12 seasons, okay? I mean, especially in this generation, and this time, 12 seasons, and each season is gonna take probably from year and year and a half, or from year to two years, it's impossible to go for 12 seasons. I mean, yeah, probably Orsensei has been planning for this when he finishes One Piece. Yeah, this word hurts. I don't wanna say it. But yeah, he might be planning for that. But I mean, if we're being honest, if Orsensei really wanted to just rest after finishing One Piece, it's not possible that he's gonna rest or he, he's gonna just feel comfortable and yeah, finally, that's it. And now I can just lay down in my bed and that's it. I don't have to think about One Piece because I mean, guys, the time that Osensei takes to make the chapter is really insane. I mean, many people saying that he'd be like going three days in a row, uh, closing the light, nothing, just focusing on the paper and drawing or, yeah, not writing the story because he wrote it before. But yes, drawing the chapter with the details, with everything, and then sending it to Shonen Jump to, for the whole, like, you know, directing stuff and all that. So each chapter takes probably three days of non-stopping drawing and all that and yes the rest of the week I mean I've seen Orson say talking about it and he says that six days of the week he takes it doing one piece stuff doing the chapter okay so it's impossible for Orson say to rest if he really wants to rest after finishing one piece nah it's not possible for the live action in my opinion because I mean I mean yeah this year he took a lot of breaks but, but it's still business stuff, it's still working on the live action, so it's still, he's not resting. 
So, if our sensei really wants to rest after finishing One Piece, and with the live action stuff, because live action means a lot of breaks, okay? So a lot of breaks means um, many years of One Piece, okay? So if, if, if let's say our sensei was planning to finish, the, uh, not the live action, if, you, if our sensei was planning to finish One Piece, manga wise, because, he, okay, yeah, he's directing to animation somehow, but yeah, I mean, he's not totally responsible on animation, so he can rest after the manga, okay? So let's say he was planning to finish the manga in 2025, let's say 2026. But with these many breaks, I mean, in this year, in 2022, honestly, say it took almost four months of breaks for One Piece on the manga. Of nine months, I mean, we're now in mid-September, and yeah, he took four months of breaks. So yeah, that means, uh, still... We haven't gone to Elbaf, still uh, the final war, still uh, Laugh Tale, still defeating Imu Sama and the world government, still many, many things to go. Let's say minimum 200 to 250 chapters, probably. So, yeah, I mean, 50 chapters, I mean, the year is 50 weeks or 52 weeks, so it means 52 chapters, but with his breaks, let's say for, uh, 45 chapters each year. 45 chapters with let's say 250 chapters left for One Piece. I'm just assuming the number. It, it, it probably can go for like 300 chapters. Okay, but let's just say 250, 250 chapters with 45 chapters each year. I mean, yeah, you got the math. That's at least five years. Okay, at least five years. So from now, from 2023 September, what today? 14th. Okay. Nah, no way One Piece is gonna be finished. The manga, the story of Oro Sensei, there's no way it's gonna be finished until like, probably minimum, 2027, 2028, yeah, that long. So is Oro Sensei really planning to take a lot of breaks for the live action? And now he's gonna stop the manga of One Piece for many and many and many months to go. So yeah. He can, I don't know, I don't know if, if or since he really wants to finish One Piece in 2035 uh, or something, so yeah, that's my opinion, what I've been thinking about the whole live action thing. I think there, there is a way to go on that, okay? The thing is, probably, probably, I'm just assuming, I don't know, okay? Let's say, or since after season 2, he will be comfortable with the whole thing. I mean, he's comfortable with Netflix now, he's comfortable with the actors, he will just be like, I don't know, uh, supervising the actors with the main characters, let's say Crocodile, let's say uh, Enel, uh, I'm just uh, thinking of the main characters that we, we should face, uh, Nick Robin of course, and blah blah blah, okay, probably Mr. One, yeah, these characters, you know, so yeah, that's how, in my opinion, or since they will be like focusing on and the rest, he'll be like, nah, Netflix got it, okay, and the director and uh, Tomorrow Studios and all that, they got it, okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it there, and that's it. That's probably a way to go for our sensei to go for 12 chapters, and even more, I don't know. If he just was like, yeah, I'm gonna be focused on some main stuff, on the season itself, and the rest, nah, you can go. I mean, yeah, you can send me the final, like, I don't know, the final script. For the episode or something like that or the final shoot and i can watch it but if he gonna be focusing on the live action and the live action is gonna go for like 12 seasons nah it's not possible okay and it's not possible at least in my opinion what's more important is yours or drop your thoughts in the comments down below do you think that the way to go for the live action is gonna be 12 wait 12 seasons because i don't know and yes, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you all the time. Everybody in this planet. I honestly lost how to say it, okay? It's just gonna be that fast. Thank you, guys. Until next time. See ya.